Parkinson in here. I'm going to demonstrate the use of these Rockwell chisels. I have three blades here, two of which have been hardened, one has not. And I can pretty closely determine the hardness of the cutting edge. You can see this is pretty brown, pretty thin, about uh, 20 thousandths of the edge. So I'm going to start with the 62 and see if it cuts into the edge, which it does. You see it's just biting in. So the edge is softer than this. So now I'm going to move to the 60 and do the same. This is still cutting in, so the edge is softer than the 60. This should be at about 59, 58 Rockwell uh, for the style of knife, for, for my e tree. The 58 should just barely skate, which it's doing. See, it's not cutting into here, but it is cutting into here just slightly. The 56 should skate completely, which or it should bite completely, which the, the chisel should do. So that would make this about 58, 59 rock. This one, I'm not quite sure. This has been heat treated. I don't really know what steel this was. I did it in a class. So it's harder than the 56. Harder than the 58. Softer than the 60. So it's about 59 Rockwell. You can see this bed in. This one has not been heat treated. So I'm going to use the 56 and it should cut right into that without the problem. Which it does. So this is below 56 Rockwell. Since it's annealed, it's probably in the low 40s. But with a little bit of experience, you can use these four graded chisels to get a pretty accurate count of the rock wall hardness at the edge or at the spine or even in the middle of the bar if you push in with a point um, between the you know the hardness of 50, 55 ish and uh and full hard at 64 so rock wall. This takes a little bit of practice. These are great because you can resharpen them just about indefinitely. Um, the only thing you need to make sure when you're sharpening these is to stay pretty consistent with the angle and make sure you don't overheat them. So use a, use a stone, like a, a diamond home, or a wet stone, and not a, not a grinder. So you would overheat them even a little bit. They'll change the rock wall hardness at the cutting edge and give you a false reading. All right, thanks.